Alright, so this is part two. Uh, you know what? This is going to be a long video, so uh, I'll just get a little break right now. You know, go get some snacks or something. Alright, you probably have your snacks now. Probably, I don't know if you're even going to watch this. Um, so, Shall and Shuffle, uh, DLC 2. Wait, yeah, DLC 2. Um... I'm not gonna lie, this map is a pain in the ass. As you can see, I already got Insta down. Um, so let's start with the Easter egg. Easter egg, I love this Easter egg. Um, it's challenging, definitely challenging. Um, it breaks boundaries and it goes, it breaks the fourth wall a lot. Like there's shit like jamming the tapes or finding missing reels or finding plot holes in the movie. Uh, missing scripts, stuff like, I mean, there's not a missing script, but it feels like you're rewriting the script is what it is. Really interesting. Boss fight is awesome. The boss fight is fun. It's not overly retarded. Um, what else, what else? I don't know. Um, now let's go to, what is it, what is it, Wonder Weapons? Uh, yeah, it's Wonder Weapons or Perks. Perks, they add Deadshot. Deadshot is really good in this game. It basically, um, uh, increased headshot damage, aim, aim bot, whatever. Um, and also, when you aim down, you get increased damage with your gun. And, um, I think it also gets rid of all your recoil as well. So, it's basically one of the best deadshots in Zombies history. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Wonder Weapon. Wonder Weapon, this is the only map where I can say... Hey, um, it's good and all, but I would honestly rather use normal guns. Wonder Weapon pro progression, doing the Wonder Weapons, is a pain in the ass. And, like, the nunchucks and the sword. The sword you have to do the Easter egg for, so I'm not really going to consider it. But there's also the cheese styles. They're not that good, but you, the, uh, you could argue, like, my friend, see, he's not even touching them and he's dying. He did a glitch for it. That's basically all the cheese are really good for, that and calling cards. Um, nunchucks, dog shit. So, I don't know. Wouldn't really consider the one weapons star thing in this game. Um, the map. Map in this game, really fun. Like it's like like Spaceland. There's really no there's no like dead ends. It's always there's always somewhere to escape to. And honestly, I gotta say. This map, I would give it a 7 out of 10. It is one of the better maps. Um, definitely a gem. Underrated classic. I wouldn't say classic, but it's underrated as hell. Really fun, honestly. Um, so I guess what's, that just leaves Attack and Beast. Alright. Alright, so now we're on DLC 3. Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Honestly... There's not a lot that I hate about this map. It's one of my favorites out of this out of this game. Um, Easter egg. Easter egg is really solid. I love the Easter egg. It's um, you get the build parts, chemical step, chemical step. People say it's a pain in the ass, but I mean, once you learn how to do it, you get around. It's easy. Boss fight, really fun too. I really love the boss fight. I love when you get to shoot the Krog. Everything. All that type of shit. Um. Wonder Weapons. I don't even think I'm doing these in order, but... Wonder Weapons. Extremely dog shit. It's the MAD. Pretty sure the only way you can get it is from the in, from the box. And you know what it does? You know what it does? It does, like, nothing. You have to recharge your ammo through the little pods around the map. Um, it's not really good, though. Like, considering everything, it's really bad. Um, rather use weapons. As you can tell, they weren't really having, like, a... They didn't have a strong suit in making Wonder Weapons. Um, perks. They added Change Choose. Change Choose was a very, very good perk. Um, it's like... It's like the, if, um... What's it called? Fucking Double Pack-A-Punch was a perk. Kind of like Elemental Pop, but not as bad. Um, map. Map layout is really good. I love the 50s feel. Everything about it feels seamless. Um, <laughs> it really, like, I don't know, I can't say. The color, the color really brings everything to life. I love the drive-in theater spot. 
all of it's so creative, like, you start off in a quarantine area, and, you know, there's, it just feels like a little, you know, a little beach in California, that's without it, um, yeah, so now, <laughs> this, this catastrophic piece of shit is Beast from Beyond, I might, it's so bad, I might as well leave a trigger warning, because it's so bad, last up, Beast from Beyond, obviously, um, honestly, if this map was, like, good, I guess, Infinite Warfare Zombies would be well-rounded. Every every map would be great. This was the thorn in Infinity Ward's side. They really threw everything at it. The only good thing I can say about this map was um, the Super Easter Egg, which is playing right now. Um, boss fight, Mephistopheles boss fight. One of the best boss fights in the game. Uh, in the in COD history, even, no doubt. Um... Easter egg steps are stupid. You can literally get it done on round one. Most of it's just puzzles and shit, but... Honestly, I don't know. And the only way to really do the Easter egg is to get all the box weapons, because... And, no, it literally t it takes so long. Like, you could get the Easter egg on round one, but by the time everyone has their shit, it's already round 15, and literally ha only half the people have what they need, or they only have one of the guns. And it really pisses me off. Normal boss fight. The normal boss fight is literally just shooting at dogs. It's annoying. It's like if plague... <laughs> it's like if you fought a bunch of plague hounds on crack. It is the most annoying boss fight. And tasking. It's just camping. It's really just camping and surviving long enough. And then once you get that done, you have to fight giant goddamn Satan with the meatballs that they... I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to perks. Now, they didn't really get creative in this one. They didn't add any perks, I don't think. Um, so, I <laughs> I don't really know what to say here. But, um, Wonder Weapons, I guess. Wonder Weapons, I gotta say, the Venom X, it's, it returns from its grave after uh, extinction. It is extremely good. It's like an apothecary servant. Ser servant? Servant. It's like an apothecary servant, kind of. Um, and it lasts a little longer. Really good, because you can explode it on command, etc, etc. It's overpowered in multiplayer. Yes, they put a Wonder Weapon in multiplayer. I'm as surprised as you are. Um, what else? The, the quest for it's not too hard. There's nothing... The, the one, Venom X was actually pretty outstanding. Like, if there's anything I can actually say what they did a good job on, other than the Super Easter Egg, map-wise, I'd say Venom X... Uh, Venom X is really good. Um, so what's next? Uh, map. The map itself. Honestly, I gotta say, this map is a pain in the ass. They went for a kind of Revelations feel, where half of it's in the real world, and the other half of it's, like, in the movie. And it was just so shittily delivered. I know, like, 15 ways they could have done it better. And then they have the, um... They just... They got lazy with it. Honestly, that's what I'm going to say. Because you had clowns. I mean, it, it was Revelations, so you really can't blame them for putting in clowns and ninjas and all that. But, god damn, dude, could you at least put something creative in there? Like, the dog, the rhinos, and all them were annoying as shit. I can say that. But, to be honest, it just felt like they recycled a bunch of the assets from the prior, prior um, movies. Whatever you want to call them. Um, honestly, though, this map... I give it like a 3 or 4 out of 10. On the Easter egg alone, the map is poorly made. Um, pack a punch. It's dog shit. You always have to get up piece, 3 pieces. Um, the traps. The traps are disgustingly shitty. Like the electric trap, you can literally kill someone hitting the box. The laser trap. They're all just like really bad, honestly, but that's kind of my Infinite Warfare take. Um, honestly, Infinite Warfare as a game, uh, most people shit on it f just for the pure saying that it's shit, because, you know, the, because Mr. T. Larson 5 said this, and Mr. Raffle Waffle said that, and Origins is good, suck my cock, etc., etc., but what I want to get into is, you know, maybe sometimes people should actually, like, form their own opinions. And I'd say I have enough gameplay under my belt to form my own opinion about Infinite Warfare. And I'd say, overall, the Zombies game mode, 8 out of 10. 
Easter egg is awesome. It's very rewarding. There wasn't really a bad boss fight in my mind. Um, except Beast from Beyond, but you know, they kind of made up for it with this boss fight. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have any closing remarks other than, you know, have a good day, drink some water, shit like that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Shoot his oh, ass! Now we have to I can shoot him! I can shoot him! Yes! 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 Wait, 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 yes, get him yes, in the middle! He's yes. gonna go in the middle and then laser! Go in the middle! Laser. Shoot! 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 Laser him! Crash map! Crash map! Get him! Get him! Get him! Keep going! Get him! 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 Yes! Yes! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Yes! 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 Yes!